Okay, I want beluga for an appetizer with all the fixings. Um, I'd like lobster salad. Then I would like Chateaubriand for the entree and then creme brulee for dessert. Oh, and the best champagne we have in the house. Wow, somebody's gonna be very impressed. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> I mean, this trial of Sonny's, it's gonna be a trial for everyone. That pun intended. It's got tentacles that are gonna reach out and grab a lot of people by the throat, by the heart, and that's you and Jack's most of all. I think it's as smart that you're taking precautions. Do we have any of that silver tequila? It's Sonny's favorite. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is all for Sonny? Yeah, we have lots to discuss. So stick him in a conference room with some cheese and crackers and call it a day. Where's the attitude coming from? It's coming from my mother. She had a hard time suffering stupidity and silence, and I guess she passed that on to me. What's this? Collie's favorite flowers? Favorite champagne? Huh? She set this up, didn't she? Yes, she did. Oh, I knew it. You did? Yeah, she's furious with me, but uh, she wants me back more than to be really mad at me. Well, that's what I thought at first. Look, I'm not um, kidding myself. I know this is not going to be easy. And Carly's impulse to protect Sonny's not going to disappear magically overnight. I know that. But you know, the fact that she went to all this trouble to set this up is a really a step in the right direction. I'm impressed, really. So, is everything on track? It's just the way you wanted it. Wow. You look... Wow, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Thanks. You think Sonny will like it? Reverting back to old patterns, I see. Well, that, that didn't take very long, did it? What? Sonny's about to go on trial for murder. Anything could happen. We have sons. We have lots to discuss. I thought we could do it in civilized surroundings. That's all. Oh, civilized. Well, this just looks a little bit more than civilized to me. I mean, this screams, you know, romance. Did you, did you talk to the chef about the creme brulee? Because that is Sonny's favorite. Everything will be just exactly as you asked. Thank you. I love our staff. Yeah. Well, if you expected me to be jealous, I'm... I'm not, okay? Th this may be hard for you to grasp, but, you know, I, I haven't given you a second thought. Should I have? Well, I mean, how, how could you? With your head filled with Sonny's favorite syrup. Hmm? Just be sure it's what you really want. It is. Oh. Okay, then you won't mind if I have a dinner companion tonight myself. Not at all. Who is it? Oh, hell no. You two aren't dragging me into any three-way train wreck with you. I got enough problems of my own. Wow, this is nice. Hi. Sit. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. Are you making yourself crazy? Jack, go home. You don't have to watch this just because Carly wants no, you to. I just want to see how this plays out, OK? You're gonna love this. I've ordered all your favorites. Good, good. When I, when I looked over there, he was giving me dirty looks like he usually does. Jax? Yeah. He works here. Ignore him. Well, I got no problem with that. Good. Yeah, I'm glad you called because I guess I'm gonna talk to you about it. What's that? Um, we had a close call with Michael. He almost confessed to Dante. What? But don't worry about it. I got home just in time and I made sure it's not gonna happen again. How'd you make sure it's not gonna happen Jason again? Jason and Sam are taking uh, Michael out of the country as we speak. What? Oh, whatever Sonny just said didn't go over too well. How dare you make that kind of decision without consulting me first? The only solution. Well, find another solution because you're not taking my son away from his home and his family. You need to be reasonable right now. No, no, don't patronize me, Sonny. 